hard. What must you leave behind? The appearance became part of that whole, my brain just leaving my body. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to clips from the virtual GoPro conference 2021 for network marketers. So this is kind of a follow on from my previous video about how I almost got sucked into Argonne. So this is for educational and informational purposes only to spread awareness of scams and manipulative tactics used to prey on especially students who are more impressionable and are looking for income. So let's get right into it. So first of all, let's talk about what the GoPro conference is. And to do that, let's actually look at the website itself. This is the first thing that you see, and I'm not sure who this guy is, but maybe if you're more into network marketing, then you'll know who this guy is. I don't know who he is, so let's keep going. On first impression, you're like, wow, GoPro, like a massive conference. And also, can we talk about the fact that it's called GoPro? Like GoPro, or is it GoPro? As in the GoPro cam. <laughs> and it's kind of ironic because GoPro is a camera and it's like how they're low key using surveillance and self regulation to keep manipulating people to stay in the ambulance. If you don't know about Foucault's work about surveillance, then I highly recommend you check it out. But anyway, let's keep scrolling. Where today's top network marketing professionals are born. December 3rd to the 5th, 2021. All right, let's react to this video. Like I'm an energy guy, so I love to be live. But this experience, I mean, seeing people all- Sorry to pause this so quickly, but Jessie Lee Ward, this woman is called hashtag I'm Boss Lee, and she's one of the most loudest, obnoxious, and notorious network marketers. And as she says on her Instagram, she's the number one network marketer. So let's keep watching people all across the screens the the sound it feels like you are in someone's living room literally the connection is amazing i always believe connection creates power i'm almost thinking that this might actually be better connection creates power yes they have leveraged the power of connections in order for them to gain power and manipulate people so be really careful of this they really try and promote the community which we'll see later in the clips of people's stories who are attending this conference online And a lot of the main a lot of confidence. My mind was full of uncertainty. And I didn't know what to do. I was afraid of failing. And I just didn't know where to go. I was always looking for something maybe more. Then a friend told me about the virtual GoPro. It was a life-changing event. It was mind-blowing. It definitely <sighs> So you can see that. These people were definitely at a very low point in their life, but apparently when they discovered this virtual GoPro conference, their life suddenly changed. Like, um, and it goes to show that they're preying on people who are vulnerable. It's so mind-blowing that we can be able to get this into the hands of literally anyone around the world. Anyone who pays. If you want to be successful in this business, if you really want to make a change in your life, this business is network marketing. Life. Are you ready to become the leader that you were created to become? This event will change your business and therefore it will change your life. See you at GoPro 2021. As with a lot of network marketing stuff, the language is all there to manipulate you and make you feel like it's a lot better than it actually is so go pro so you suddenly a pro if you attend this conference and like all the regional vice president national vice president titles or diamond presenter or whatever all those titles of ranks you know it's only there to make you feel like you belong and you make you feel like you are doing something within this mln when it's all just a scam let's keep reacting to the website get my ticket now scarcity i mean this has already gone past so i don't know this clearly hasn't been updated yet for 10 years gopro recruiting mastery ooh, was considered the most prestigious generic in-person network marketing credit. generic why are they saying they're generic that's weird then 2020 virtual GoPro became the largest gathering of network marketing professionals in the history of the profession now for 2021 we are pulling out all the stops to bring you the biggest and the best training event yet join us december 3rd to the 5th to learn today's best strategies and secrets of success directly from top marketing from tech 
from top network marketing professionals, internationally recognized entrepreneurs, and marketing mindset and business masters. They're really just hyping it up. Like, as you can see, this website, like, it's all just flashy and awful show. General admission is 297, all from the comfort of your own home. VIP ticket, that's $1,047, includes one general admission ticket, plus access to the virtual GoPro lounge with three hours of additional interactive time each day. Three hours? Who's going to take that up? Let's be real, people who buy this are willing to sacrifice their time and their money for this, which is really sad. Oh my goodness, 1547 So this, plus five general admission tickets. Right, let's do some maths here. Because for five pounds, you get five general admission tickets. Interesting. The ultimate platinum in-person experience. Oh my goodness, 5,297. Imagine paying all, okay, even general admission, yeah? You can access it from home, Zoom, it's free. But why is all this life-changing resources and materials only available for people who can cough up the money? Why not just make it accessible? Because they're all about money. These people are clearly making more than enough money. Why do you need to up the price so much? Oh, okay, this is this dude is Eric War. This is literally everyone and their mom's sob story. Wow. I mean, I must admit that does look impressive. Oh my goodness. I don't even know who all these people are. I don't need I don't know anyone actually. Except for Boss Lee, this gal, and Eric War. Oh, and this dude, this is the one who headhunted the girls from Moon 8 to your eye genius oh this guy this is the guy from instagram who did that like boom 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 pow boom bam bam bop bada bop boom pow oh! well okay at least they're accessible to five languages all right let's start reacting to these clips from actual network marketers who are attending the conference the next time somebody doubts the validity of what it is that you do. I want you to remember these people, normal people just like you, who made a decision and gave themselves permission to go to a different level, changed their lives and changed the lives of thousands of other people who's next. So in this clip, they're announcing the newest 2021 million dollar earners. And, and specifically, it means that they have earned a million dollars in commission in 2021. That's a lot of money. <laughs> so this Eric War is saying that, you know, next time somebody doubts your business, next time you doubt the validity of what you do, he says, remember these million dollar earners. And this is called survivorship bias. You only see people who are at the top, who are doing great. You don't see the people who are failing because obviously, why would they? They want you to buy into this and they want you to be in their downline so they can make more money. This is a massive problem in general. So systemically, things like things like saying, oh, I can do it. So why can't you? First of all, we all have different life circumstances and we can't guarantee that the exact sequence of events that led one person to be successful will lead me to be successful, right? So it's really important to be aware of that. Why are they screaming? Why are they screaming? Also, I can show his face because he's a public figure. So this guy is actually the one who headhunted the Monet girls who are moving to iGenius. If you don't know what's happening, check out these creators here for their commentary on what's going on. It's an unfolding situation. <laughs> so he's basically their upline. So of course they're going to like kiss his ass. So proud. So proud. Oh God, right. Again, you can see all the showmanship and the fireworks and all the glitz and glam, this is all to make you feel FOMO and feel like you're missing out. Like, this is amazing. This is something that I want to aspire to. But in the process of people aspiring to this level of success, success and, you know, fame and wealth, you're losing a lot of money in the process. At the lowest point of my life, and uh, we had just one conversation. Like, we're gone, all you got to do is 90 days. And that's pretty much what we're talking about tomorrow. Um, uh, these 90 days, 
the one tip that he gave me. That, that's what they always say. You just need 90 days to go all into this business. And I'll show you what you can do with it. 90 days is three months. That's kind of a long time. So in the process, they're going to try and brainwash you to make you stay as long as possible. So don't fall for it. <laughs> Let me to be the youngest Arab network marketer in the world walking on the stage. And this is all because, you know, of my team, of my company, and of course, my family. Um, and I, I feel like Eric and Miran are part of my family. So thank you so much. Let's go to the top. That's really sad. The amount of like people of color that I see sucked into these things is really sad like it really takes advantage of them and all the points of marginalization that play into the MLM's narrative you know if you're looking for more income if you're looking for more time with your children so they could be prime prey for MLM predators like this who can use his own story like oh look at me you know woe to me I was so sad and broke but now here I am and you can do the same and I'm You can see from these clips, they're clearly trying to show off the community that they have, how amazing the community is, because, because people that they prey on, it's usually people who don't have a community, people who want friendships, and this is how they get sucked in. And that's why I tell people, you know, my, my whole philosophy is to build the people, the people who build the business. And what I find with a lot of people is that they try to emulate somebody else's brand when people love authenticity. And so I believe that not only should you build a brand, but you should build an authentic brand that's who you really are authentically. Coach Stormy. Coach Stormy is their name. Saying that you've got to focus on building the people and people build the business. Yeah, it's a pyramid scheme. Recruitment is how you make money, how you make, how you do business. Clearly, it's a pyramid scheme. Honestly. Zoom rooms with like five to six people. And I was just in a breakout room with a network marketer who is 74 years old and been in the industry for um, over almost 50 years. So it's, so it's just so cool and it's so inspiring. No, it's and even now, she has a network marketing business and two traditional businesses that she's running at 74 years old. Like that's, that's freaking cool, man. So that she, she's, she's saying that she met a 74-year-old network marketer in her breakout room and she's saying that is so cool no it's not she's been in it for 50 something years or whatever she's been sucked in for that long like back in the day when it was all about like parties and stuff you know with mary Kay, tupperware all that fun stuff i hope she gets out sales is all about convenience Okay, so she's trying to justify why she's joined this company, which is for convenience. And yes, you know, companies thrive and are built off the fact that we want things to be quicker and faster all the time. And MLMs pray off, MLMs thrive off this narrative that you can be quick now, you can get rich now, you can do this in like three months. No, especially with Bitcoin and, and, and investments and crypto, you know, I'm no expert, right? As these girls claim that they're also not, yet they're going into a crypto MLM pyramid scheme. It takes a long time to see your investments truly grow. I am investing in a lifetime ISA, and I've also got some money in a short-term savings account, which is really good. It's called Chip. If you want to check it out, use my referral link below. She's saying that if you are not good at something, leverage someone else who is, which is, you know, I agree with that, but not in the context of an MLM. If you want, if you're not good at investing, Hire a financial advisor. Don't don't join an MLM. Don't join a pyramid scheme, especially if you're a student. So for me, I started investing with Wellsimple. Um, they are a legit, not a pyramid scheme, investment platform that pairs you up with a consultant when you first sign up, who's a legit consultant, not like an Auburn consultant. Um, <laughs> and they advise you on what's the best cause of action, whether you're willing to take more high risk or low risk investments. And it's really good. And that was really good until I moved all that money into my lifetime ISA, because if you don't know already, lifetime ISA in the UK is where the government will pay up to 25%, up to £4,000 in your ISA to help with like buying a house or retirement.
<laughs> this person could have been a troll. So asking, so someone trades for you? No, the platform has no access to your money. You are in control of your own crypto wallet. You place the trades yourself. You simply copy the trade alert sent out by the Xbox into the app of your preference. So just, just use apps like Coinbase is a really good one. They also have really good education. I use Coinbase. I don't really invest that much in crypto because I don't really understand it that much. I just kind of like put it in for fun. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, so, you know, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. So if everything's done by you, why do you need to be in an MLM for this? So in conclusion, we can see that MLMs are very predatory and that events like these are just meant to hype people up, you know, get them into the mindset, which is why they bring all these motivational speakers and which is why all these MLMs have their own conferences to make sure people are in the right mindset to work their business and make money, which in turn, obviously, makes their uplines money. So hopefully this was informative and educational and entertaining for you. I was uh, very entertained watching all this crap. So yeah, so let me know if you have any questions about any of this your own experiences of course feel free to share what you're comfortable and i will see you in my next video bye and i hate it